hey guys it's me kiana and today is june i don't even know what today is the days are just swelling by it is june 6th saturday as you guys have noticed around us with everything that is going on with just everything that's going on i just just have to take a break because oh child was it a time it's it's a time so let me show you what i'm currently reading so you kind of figure out how this segues into what i was saying so i'm currently reading a couple of books this is the start of like a vlog by the way this is a whole june vlog also this part will probably most likely be the same for the beginning of the feel good a thon vlog but i think i'm just gonna combine both of them because that's what's gonna be happening um i'm reading black enough which is by um ibby zaboy and this is an anthology um of so many authors I think like over 10 or 12 authors and they are they are explaining the black experience of just friends just of friends relationships um sisters I I just I love it and it also it just tells you the it brings nod to the social and the racial um things that we're going through now and it's just it's been a time so I actually have a video that I explain all of this, but it was so weird that this, I take a break from social media and I've always kind of just kind of taken breaks. Unbeknownst to everyone, I've been taking a little, little breaks, but I always make sure I have videos for y'all consumption, okay? Um, and it's funny that I, I found a script, like just points for a video that I had already made last year. It's on my channel, I'll link it up above. And it's talking about me being black on booktube and me versus the numbers why can't i get and i talk about so many points and after this, this this break i've been slowly coming back to listen to audiobooks and having like a little fire under my high knee because i feel like we need some joy in this time and it's sad that we have to feel i feel guilty for having finding joy in these things but i have to for me i have to like step back and kind of like cleanse not cleanse but like just step back and have my little moments of joy and not feel guilty for it and i've been addicted to watching nick stone's interviews on her ig stories as well as kenny ryan's and finding so many new authors i'm like ah, 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 like that too and i've been introduced to so many um poc authors and just black authors that i don't even know like i'm like i've been reading black authors i've always been reading because where can i find someone like me i've waited 26 years to find and i have just i can actually show you guys the first book that i saw myself in i am just well, let me just read all this script that I actually it was points that i have for a video that i already have a video that i'll link above and so yeah of course people will do what they want to do you know people Will be people and i that's it's sad it's just really sad and unfortunate i've been thinking for this for some time and what it means to be a black booktuber i've come to realization that sometimes also already being a minority being black and a booktuber who is female or male is even a smaller minority after watching christina marie's video and that was before she came back no she i think she already had a video at this time but she hadn't i don't think she had made a video in a in a little hot second now look at that video as well as after watching christina marie from life is a page turner minka and mayana <laughs> like i was already on my i literally cried at work it was because everything was just point on i was just like girl yes um, and so I say, after I watched those videos, I had to talk about this because just like her and many other POC creators who have been on BookTube for four plus years. Now, I've been here since 2014. Let's count how many years that is to 2020. Yeah, I'm gonna let you, let's, let's think about that. Just think about that for like two seconds. Um, and then you realize like the numbers aren't right. Something's here compared to my white counterparts who we do the same thing. It's this and that it's a catch 22 you try to do the same thing but then they get more views and i'm like what is it and you don't see my channel getting getting featured you don't get seen being promoted by the publishing houses even arcs get passed on and yes of course there's a lot of factors that contribute to that but the facts are the same i put my blood my sweat my tears my work 
and sacrifices and I get nothing, nothing in return. How sad is that? After you, you know, it's like nothing is really number about numbers about me because if you have been subscribed to me for a second, my goal is just, I just want to make a thousand subscribers so I can like just a thousand. I've been cresting, cresting like the 600 to 800 mark and I'm just like man can we what's up bro like I do consistent content and then I have to constantly tell myself key it's okay it ain't you boo then I have to like calm myself down and be like girl it's okay you did what you you did your best and you're doing what you need to do and if no one likes it that is a okay but really it's like should I be making more of this or that to improve my views and maybe it'll get people to finally see me because I've been here but maybe if I do a video this certain way or I try to like change something then I'll get more views but I'm thinking why should why would I be why would I want to flatten myself for someone else that won't do and that's not authentic and I don't do fake so and so there were hardly any black booktubers on um, book two when I was here well when I started in 2014 um, but I saw Christina Marie and I was like oh my god there was a booktuber who was black and female and oh my god it was like I had the feeling of that first book where I saw myself in it was that moment mirrored and I was like oh my god and over the last years of course book two booktube has gotten bigger than it was in, in 2014 than I when I started my gosh I was just so happy a beautiful to see someone who's reflected in me I mean because we all want to see someone who's reflected in me in yourself so I'm gonna go I'm actually gonna show you guys the first book Woo. it's a bad copy yo it's a better copy but the book is Jason and Kyra by Dana Davison and this was actually if you can see how beat this was this is like I don't really this was borrowed from somebody else so this was like someone didn't want to read this book and I was like no I'll bump it I'm like oh my god I actually want to do a reread of this because oh my god like it was my first time seeing two not one but two black hair people like me I was shook when I found this when it was it was it middle school freshman year I think it was middle school and I was like oh my gosh she's smart too this was actually made in 24 2004 it'll probably be slightly it'll probably tell this age but like oh my god girl I was so excited so of course I'm reading of course I always read and support my black off so y'all already know if y'all been here for a second but yeah, I just had to take a break. Um, for me, I just had to just step back because it was just, it was for my mental clarity and sanity. Um, I needed to find joy in other things. Um, I know a lot of people aren't spiritual. If you are, um, that's awesome. Um, and so am I. So I had to whew, become one. Prayer was a big thing for me. It's a big thing for me always. And so I was just like, oh my god so yeah that's my little spill um and uh yeah i hope you guys for those who are new hey how you doing um if you're here just to see oh my god i'm subscribed to someone black because it's stage left because stop don't do that it's not fair stop this is not fair do not do that to me thank you oh the this is the beginning of my june arc reading vlog and i this was a challenge to myself because i wanted to i have a lot of arcs that i didn't realize i was going to get accepted and they were going to give me so i have a few um i also watched like a i had a movie night with my friends yesterday we watched bell for, i watched bell for the first time yesterday i also watched um a little women last week for the first time and i boo hooed I was like y'all little women so it's funny because little women I actually um that Lori and Joe moment though can we please talk about that in the comments please what's in the war for those who have seen little women I seen the current one the 2020 version now if 
what version of that movie do you guys like better because we had like a whole discussion um for in my friends and like it was just fun i love my little friday movie nights but it's funny because this is a great segue because i actually have an arc that is follows joe and Lori after she writes the her first best-selling book and she has a second book and now the publisher is making um having her having her write or wants her to write this happy ending and Lori is back and I'm gonna read you guys the synopsis this is by um Margaret Stoll and Melissa Del Cruz and this comes out June 2nd so it already came out by the time I'm uploading this it's already came out but it's Joe and Lori and oh, 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 I actually need to read Little Women because I haven't read it actually which is so weird I usually love reading uh classics <laughs> the books um and then doing watching the movies but in cer certain times i have to watch the movie to see if i'll actually like the classic so yes pride and prejudice is my favorite emma um actually north and since this really is actually one of my favorites now which is so crazy i also saw that like three weeks ago with my friday little movie group and i'm so excited so what the synopsis says it says 1869 concord massachusetts after the publication of her first novel Jo March is shocked to discover her book of scribbles has become a bestseller and her publisher and fans demand a sequel. While pressured into coming up with a story, she goes to New York with her close friend Lori. Now, mm, Lori, oh my god, Timothy, Timothy, Timothy. Okay. Woo. Um, for a week of inspiration, museums, operas, and even a once in a lifetime reading by Charles Dickens, Dickens himself. But, Lori has romance on his mind and despite her growing feelings, Joe's desire to remain independent leads her to turn down his heartfelt marriage proposal which ticked me off in the movie and sends the poor boy off to college heartbroken. When Lori returns to Concord with a s sophisticated new girlfriend, will Joe finally communicate her true heart's desire or lose the love of her life forever? Now in the movie, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna spoil the movie for those who haven't seen it like me because it's it's been a second um but in the movie who Lori marries stabs my heart it literally makes my heart it I literally cry when I found out who he married so I really hope you guys watch the movie because it's, it's so good it's so 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 good um yes so that is one of my June arcs my next June art that I want to read on this TBR is My Eyes Are Up Here by Laura Zimmerman and this follows a young woman who is struggling to rediscover herself um, in the year after her body decided to change all of her and change all the rules and she now has entered school with just she trying to grow into herself and she's like um I did not ask for this like why is everyone staring this is weird I'm making me feel awkward and she kind of has to just um this is serious this is book of like awkwardness and ferocity of imaginary butterflies and rock solid friendships um and a girl trying to find her way out of her oversized sweatshirt and back into the real world and i so excited i feel like this is the book that i would have like want needed to read when i was in middle school like going from elementary to middle school because man that was a time that was a time um and my also next june art that i want to read for the mom is The Love Square by Laura Jane Williams and thank you to Avon Books UK. Hey. And when it's exactly as it is a love square. The description reads, she's single, but that doesn't mean it's not complicated. Penny Bridge has historically been very unlucky in love. She's pledged to focus on other things, her friends, her career, making the most of what busy London life has to offer. But when difficult circumstances mean that Penny's uncle must hand over the kitchen of his beloved restaurant in Derbyshire, Derbyshire to find herself stepping, she finds herself stepping into a new life in a new town. Um, and as luck would have it, she's suddenly confronted with one remarkable man who wants to date her, followed by another and by another. So begins a hilarious love square with Penny firmly in the middle. And... <laughs> that's right up my alley and that's actually one of the prompts for gotta move y'all for like two seconds okay 
that's uh, also that's one of the prompts for the feel good -a -thon, which is happening june 1st to the 14th i skipped the first literally the first four days because i was taking a whole break and i needed to take a break so i was unconsciously maybe reading um some books off of my tbr but right now i'm reading i've knocked a lot of prompts off and you can do the cool thing about this readathon um the feel good -a -thon, which is from june 1st to the 14th hosted by jess from jess nevertheless um is that it's really just really fluid you can do the prompts if you want to you can do one you can do none there's also like um like other other prompts that like to make you feel good like call a friend or do a mask or things of like that i love how lax this is they i also found out there's also in the last week third week in june right after the feel good -a thon ends the throwback -a thon starts so during this month we're gonna have so much fun with these readathons um in my own little challenge so i have already knocked off for the feel good -a thon i've already knocked off like a couple of prompts unknowingly but i was like cool i'm glad y'all can sprinkle everywhere else um so a lot of the prompts that i have gotten done are a short book which is as kismet would have it which is book 1.2 by sandaya manan um which is part of the dimple and rishi universe um i also counted that for finish or continue a series which i reread dimple and rishi and then as kismet would have it which is a e novella like 60 page novella um i also got uh checked off rereading old favorite which is dimple and rishi i also want to reread this because now that I'm thinking about it, I want to reread this and I'm talking about it. And um, I also going to check off for reading My Eyes Are Up Here. My Eyes Are Up Here, um, which is a book I have high hot hopes for. Um, and read a book by an author you've never read before, which is Laura Zimmerman, never read her before. And read a book a younger self would you read a book younger you would have loved and i think i would have loved this book um so that knocks off those also one of the prompts are read one of the host favorite books which i'm either going to read well met or the romance book club which i think i've already kind of started like 10 pages of well met the end of may so i'm just gonna go with that one whatever feels my fancy tickles my fancy that's what we're gonna go with and i'll check you guys in um that should be all for the updates i really appreciate you guys for subscribing like serious um i'm currently reading, reading a, another short book which is a novella okay people a novella in the sweet rapids series <laughs> that you guys know i have talked about and raved about on my last video in my wrap up and it is called A Dash of Love, which is a no very, very short novella. Um, and it's, yeah, it's called A Dash of Love, A Sweet Rapids Novella by Tay, Tay, Tay Russ. And if you haven't read, you need to read the rest of the series because it spo spoils a lot of things for what happens in the series. So don't read it out of order because it makes it a better reading experience if you've read um, all of the books that are in order and then you just read this one because that's what I did I'm obsessed it's only four and it's love they're lovely oh my god that's also a book series I read. so I hope this vlog gives you a little bit of hope and sunshine and smiles because you know we are in a storm and it's I'm looking through the um walking through the storm with a my eye on the light and I see the light and it's we have it it's there we gotta go we just gotta touch it and walk to it so I hope this gives you a little smile and happiness in your life. Um, yeah, and it's probably going to include a lot of dance breaks. So when I dance, you dance, okay? Um, and yeah, I hope you guys enjoy. And uh, I will update you guys later when I'm actually reading something or finish reading something. And uh, I'll have a good time. Ciao. <laughs> hey guys, it's me, Kiana. And today is the what time is it <laughs> it is the 10th of june and i have finished a book 
I finished the book I was telling you guys that I was going to be finishing, I think, in the last clip. Um, and it is a taste it's called A Taste of. Yeah, I returned it. Okay, so I read it on Kindle Unlimited, and it's part of the Sweet Rapids <laughs> series. You guys know how much I've been raving about that series, that four book series for my last couple of videos so you guys need to go ahead and read that um it's by a black author by uh tay Roos, and i just love every couple oh my god oh my god and so this is about one of the couples it's a novella and it's about like i think like 60 pages let me not lie to y'all let me let me check um all right good reads let's load for me please thank you maybe no I mean, I look, whatever. So, until Goodreads wants to load and, you know, help me out here. Um, so, it was really good. This also, this follows a couple that is um, mentioned in, it's actually the best friend. It's the sister of our first couple, our main female character in the first book. Um, and that's her, her sister who she has the bakery with. And I loved her and Aiden's um, relationship. The novella is spanned over like the four books. So if you have not read any of the books, you're going to get spoiled. Do not read this. Read the books in orders first and then read the novella. Like certain scenes that you think that you would kind of like to see in the four books. Certain scenes with Dana and Aiden who... Aiden, Aiden is... Who is he related to? They're related oh gosh he's really he's the cousin of Stephen who is the ex-husband of Izzy Izzy um noble and so she's like the third book and I am just I love this that was really good it was it was real good these two were very they were explosive they were essentially like a dislike to love because Dana was kind of uh every time they got into this arrangement of like yeah neighbors with benefits but then of course you know someone gets feelings catches feelings and of course Aiden starts catching feelings and so I really loved how much she put the effort in um versus okay well not does not put any effort, any effort in it was didn't mind waiting for Dana but like the, I was like girl you don't lose a good man if you don't um get around your commitment issues and um just because you've technically already fallen for him. You just don't want to feel that you've fallen for him. And like be aware of those feelings. So it was good. I rated it 4 out of 5 stars. Um, I am currently reading. I'm currently reading a lot of stuff. <laughs> like 5 books. If y'all look following me on Goodreads. I'm reading a whole bunch of stuff lately. So I started. I'm like only like a couple of pages. And um, My Eyes Are Up Here by Laura Zimmerman. Which is one of my June arcs. And I am also reading, listening to Black Enough by Ibby Zaboy, and which is also an anthology of like all these other black authors. And I love it. I'm loving it. I am 50% through it, maybe. Also, sorry about the light because it's just cloudy and been raining today in the, in the A, so you know. And I am also reading something else. Uh, I borrowed. I found Kitchen Princess Omnibus Two, Volume Two. It's for a side note because we're I'm diverting now. Um, but I found that Omnibus Omnibus Two of Kitchen Princess because I love Kitchen Princess One, which is quite deceiving. If you read this manga, it's quite deceiving. The cover is so cute. It's like oh my god, I'm about to be like <laughs> my heart is about to squeeze. No, your heart will squeeze in. Not happiness, but emotions. Way too many emotions. And it wasn't sad, but it had like sad tones to it. And I was like, snap, you got me. I took off like half a day because this, this originally was supposed to be the day that I was going to my first K-pop concert Ow! from NTT The Origin, <sighs> the live show, the concert. But because of what's happening, um, that got canceled like a month and a half ago and they have to return my money so um we don't have a new date and so i'm going to have me a concert by my own self and watch the recording of the concert that they had 
the week that they canceled, they had they actually had a concert online streaming, and I was just so I was so excited. I was legit so excited to go see them live. I had some good seats. Oh, it was some good seats, but no. Um, so yeah, I took off half the day just for me to go to the concert, and uh, that's not happening. So I'm gonna watch my own little concert with my my NCT stick, um, and um, have my own little concert of one <laughs> and yeah so those are the books that i'm reading i will let you guys know any updates but i did finish a book um and i'm gonna put it on the list to see if i can somehow make it part of the feel, feel good a thong because i feel like this is but this is an author that i've read already so i can't really count any of it um yeah it is a short book well that yeah it's a novella yeah so I'm going to see you guys later. I have to go to a... I also have a dentist appointment. So I have to go leave in like 20 minutes. Because uh, it's at like 1.30. And I need to eat lunch, leave, and then come back. And hopefully maybe I can read something while I'm there. But who knows? Probably not. I'll read probably when I come back. And maybe I'll probably listen to a few minutes of Black Enough by Ibi Zaboy. Um, in the car on the way to the dentist appointment, my dentist appointment. So, yeah. Um, I also did like a 20 minute writing sprint. Yeah, I'm trying to edit this because a few of my friends want to beta read my book. Uh, oh my god. I'm literally like just kind of nervous. <laughs> like, uh, I'm nervous because I've been working on this, specifically this first book, for years. <laughs> Which is sad. And I, I've written like three other books in the same world, same characters. They're all connected quicker and edited them a little bit quicker. But they still need some more editing, but a little bit quicker. But this first one, I was just dragging my feet. And now that I have it, and I looked at it and I was like, crap. Yeah, I need some work. Like a lot of work. So I'm on like the new chapter seven. And it's a few chapters I can keep. Because as I was reading, I was like, girl, you found her. You got into the groove. You got this you know it's you i can hear my voice it's weird um but like i could see my progress of like my writing abilities that's weird to say whatever but yeah um woo, that was weird to say out loud i'm beta people want to beta read book a book manuscript manuscript it's not a book yet would love for it to be a book that'd be great yeah um, but anywho, um, I'm gonna eat lunch real quick and I uh, gotta go. So, ciao, I'll see you guys when I update y'all. Thank you. So I look a little crazy, but I just finished, I just had to do, wash my hair today. And it is 7-12 on, 7 12 on the 14th of June, so it is the last day of the Feel Good Athon, which is hosted by Jess from Never Jess Nevertheless. So I'm feeling pretty accomplished because I did read um, two books, two books um, with a couple of prompts that I got out the way that I mentioned, I think, in an earlier clip. So I did finish reading two books, which is As Kismet Would Have It um, and Dimple and Rishi, both in the Dimple and Rishi universe by Sandaya Manan. And I love that. I am still reading um, My Eyes Up. My Eyes Are Up Here by Laura Zimmerman. Um, I'm 12% and I actually like it. It's, I think more the writing is more so, I felt like it was not choppy, but I think it was, the writing style is more, not even simplistic. It's, I guess it's in the mind of a middle school schooler so like I feel like this is a great book for like middle school but I, think, I feel like this is a middle grade but I think uh, in that galley it's young adult so I don't know um yes and I also so if you guys saw in that little mini clip that candle that's burning right there that's actually my strawberries and champagne um <laughs> candle this is the second candle that I burnt today because I had to make myself stop burning the other one because it smelled beautiful. Um, it is the, I bought four by the way, just to preference this, I bought four. And it is the yellow cake, 
um and all of these candles are by india from page turning candle her candle company um and i will link it down below i thank her so much i'm obsessed with this candle i should have bought an eight ounce really should have bought an eight ounce because i'm obsessed with this candle it smells like buttercream and vanilla in a bakery yes i y'all i love this candle so i bought that one though that too and i also bought two black girl magic candles which is essentially like cocoa butter but i also feel like i want to eat this ca these candles so india if you're watching this um if you just saw how you know expand your inventory from candles to other stuff i would love some anything in this lotion lip balm amazing so i know i'm gonna burn this to the max uh that's why i haven't burned this one yet and i need to go ahead and put an order in for the pound cake one eight ounce because that thing is amazing my room smelled my sister came and she was like oh my god it smells like buttercream in here like icing and i was like that's perfect that's the point so yeah i went grocery shopping this morning um i'm currently trying to finish editing a chapter of my manuscript because the other half looks it's okay it's pretty good and like I don't it, it just needs to be more tweaking towards the end of the chapter but the front half or the first like maybe 10 or so chapters cannot they need to be redone um so yeah oh by the way I'm going to link all these candles down below that I bought <laughs> her Etsy shop is down below because thank you so much and she was her custom service amazing like thank you so much i'm obsessed with these candles just do know that i will be putting another order in just you know all the time and i also trans I also told her told one of my friends about her she was like oh my god i've been waiting for some candles like go i got you i got you um so yeah that's burning the sh strawberry champagne i think i'm smelling more champagne right now um and editing and the video that i was supposed to be editing I'm trying to find the footage for that video because my goal was to do a uh, key recommends for a certain video like I have the video I can't I don't want to tell you guys the name of the video because it kind of ruins it but my point I'm trying to find something about the audio premiere is not like recognizing it as the audio and video so I think I'm just gonna have to record that again which I'm really sad about so I'm not gonna have to probably record it maybe later on this week I'm so sad about that because I have two key um, recommendation videos but the first one was supposed to have went up like a while ago but things happen you know world burning and stuff so was not per I did not have the energy to do that so I'm going to probably redo it hopefully next week and then I can also have the other one that I want up next week if you guys haven't seen my last video which is my author recommends for Tessa Dare I'll link it down below also in the card above um so you guys can check it on out and so yeah I will update you guys later oh yes oh I forgot there's another book that I'm reading which is um will you be mine I forgot the author name but the cover is beautiful it's breathtakingly beautiful I love that the bokeh the depth of oh my god See, you guys are gonna make me go into photographer's talk at this point. So that's what we're doing. Update you guys on all the books that I'm reading, and I think that's it for now. I'll see you guys later. And then next week, I won't look like a bald eagle. Ah, okay, cool. Ciao. <laughs> hey guys, it's me, Kiana, and I just wanted to let you guys know uh to i was supposed to be giving you guys a reading update but that's not happening right now because i want to show you guys the books oh look who it is it's lisa <laughs> hi lisa <laughs> um but anyway so i want to show you guys the books that i bought because i actually bought two book three books from better world books for the first time um first second time so yeah i actually bought three books so i bought coming up for air by miranda kennelly and if you guys have been watching my channel for like a really long time you guys know that i love this series i i'm obsessed with this series love this series such a cute young adult like series and it's all of the characters are in the same world and i have all of the other ones um and all of the characters are connected and i love that this i don't know what quality this is these are were all library books but like this 
is like almost brand new like not a problem with it but then i get my little mass paper bags which was the goal to get these two because i actually didn't realize that i bought a mass paper bag way back in the day like maybe at least five plus years ago and the, the copy is beautiful this is the copy that i have this is the second book in the country roads series and if when i tell you guys when i looked at this i was like oh my god this is actually the first romance contemporary like author that i love that i read from and continuously read like every summer my through maybe eighth ninth i think i bought this maybe ninth grade year ninth or tenth grade year so every summer since tenth grade i literally reread this book because the well, the series because i fell in love with i remember getting my first one of my first few arcs was the book arc of undone by sharon uh shannon richard and this cop this, my little copy's a little beat up they like a little a little they a little beat up um and so clearly they are from the library which better old books so you know um that's okay it's, it's fine <laughs> but, it's, but i wanted to get all of these in paper mass paperback so when i saw this i was like oh my god i love the first and second one and i read up to book four when i was looking at my looking on goodreads i was like up to book four when did i do that and so now i want to get all of the books but i'm hoping and praying because i think at book four they don't make them in mass paperbacks anymore which i don't know why i'm a little bit like shook at like why they start making them in mass paperback i'm um, a little concerned because this is really pretty and i bought i remember buying this for like five dollars at barnes and nobles and it's beautiful oh gosh this is my beautiful copy you got so then i bought I was obsessed with it. I wanted because I really want to reread the series because I remember loving it so much. And I also want to kind of want to do a video on it about rereading my favorites, old favorites. And also, it's funny because all the blurb on here on the front of these books are by Jill Chavez, which is an author that I recently got introduced to and have been added on the top of my TBR by my friend Bree at Bree Hill, who you guys need to go check her out and i saw she was um reading i forgot what book she was reading um but i'll put the picture over here and she it was she was highlighting so many quotes and i was like oh my god yes what book is this and it was a book by jill chavez and i was like and she has blurred every one of these books on here and i'm like oh my god yes so the i bought the first book which is undone and then the third book which is unstoppable so i'm hoping in praying that i can find all of these books in mass paperback they look so pretty in mass paperback but yeah i'm really want to collect all of this series it's eight books in the series <laughs> oh gosh and they're all in the same like same town con not country town it is a country town it's called country road so country town and this one was my favorite because this was the i this i think when this is when i fell in love with the best friend brother trope best friend's brother trope and so this is about grace who um she has been in love with her brother's best friend um jackson and he's still trying to think like i need to not fall in love with her like this is my best friend's little sister she's not a little she's not little anymore and he's like oh crap oh and she likes still in the bakery and it's just like the cutest thing ever so i'm super excited this this couple starts so it, they domino affect the entire series um and this is about Paige and uh Paige Paige and Brendan they come back in the oh my god they come back in the they pop up all of the characters kind of pop up in each other's lives um in the series um I haven't read past before so oh but excited to reread so i'm hoping if you guys know where to get like the mass paperbacks or do you guys just like suffer and have to get like the ugly like the paperbacks like don't match i really just want the series to be in mass paperback just it's so beautiful better in mass paperback um did i read anything today this was not an update reading update this is more of a book buying update <laughs> um so yeah i bought like three books oh also um i can't believe i'm saying this but i spent 40 dollars on a book now 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 i would usually never ever woo, ever 
spend forty dollars on a book unless it was like a special edition and the special edition the first special edition that i've ever bought was it has it doesn't come out until october which is the stephanie perkins 10th anniversary of Anne and the french kiss but um that wasn't even forty dollars i bought one of my favorite books for forty dollars and my dad it's coming from brazil it is flat out love by jessica park i actually bought this i oh my god i'm i've been in a weird reading mood thing where i've been like i literally on good reads if you follow me i have reading between five books and now like starting books i'm like okay well what piqued my interest like i'm reading like um a wrinkle in time which for the first time i'm listening to an audiobook because i want to see the movie because i have it free i'm reading like will you be mine by real real rosie adams which is the most beautiful cover ever my god beautiful um so i was like i've been wanting really to one it helps me with my portuguese it helps me with my portuguese i'm really trying to find books that i love um my favorite books because i know the story and then i can read it and then i can learn more words and it just helps my reading comprehension with portuguese so i spent 40 dollars on the brazilian portuguese edition of this book um and the phone debacle um it is by the way i didn't say the date it's the 15th of june um and yeah so i bought flat out love by jessica park you know i must love in a book so much that i spent 40 dollars i cannot even fathom that i just did that by the way um but it's in portuguese so i figured it one it will help me and two also i know the story and i've read this enough times where i haven't read it in like some years though so i'm gonna re refresh the whole series because i fell in love with this series this series who it hurt me it hurt me real bad real bad it pulled up my heartstrings i was happy i was sad then i cried i found new music for them i just was going through the emotions this, this book this series takes me on an emotional toll especially the first one so in portuguese it's um amor fora do ar um which actually means love out of air or love out of the air which kind of makes sense with the theme of the book so <laughs> i love it it's also white like this one like the american version um yeah i oh i love this um also apparently my phone can't won't call out now so i'm trying to figure out why in the everlasting flip that i can't um uh, uh, uh call anyone like my service t-mobile excuse me what are you doing yeah. so yeah those are my book purchases and uh i'm gonna stop talking because i've been going talking about 15 minutes and i gotta cut this down so all right ciao y'all and today it is the 23rd of june so yeah it's been a long time since i've like updated you guys but a couple days ago i did finish a book will you be mine by root c adams and oh my god was that the most cute book ever reasons why you need to read it one lots of pining if you're not a pining type of person then you're not gonna like it also black love hello we need that also the cover is straight up gorgeous i literally if i could salivate at a cover that cover this cover is beautiful beautiful also there's a fake dating um there's also childhood it's, it's not even childhood best friends it's just best friends to lovers um trope and also a guy who knows what he wants so like we love that it's just we love that also homegirl was so dense i was like at first i wanted to shake her and was like so are you that dense or are you just you're just that oblivious but then i was like oh she me <laughs> so but i rated it like 4.8 out of 5 10, oh, wow wow what is that 4.8 out of 5 stars which is like an 85 90 so oh yeah I'm excited um so i finished that book i'm also about to film oh that setup though i'm about to i just finished writing my notes for the mid-year mid-year book freakout tag that's like the longest title and i always get it messed up um tag so i got some books here Ooh. so i have some books there and i'm going to try to film this and have it up because the video that i told you guys about earlier in this video that book was that video was supposed to be up but then something happened on my computer where 
it just wants to stop. Sometimes, like, the premiere, like, wants to act, oh, and it was like, oh, we having a good day today. So, so I'm trying to, so it's a lot, it's like two vlogs happening within the month, and then there's other videos that I need to have out. I'm also trying to do a recommendation video for you guys. So that's also when I'm trying to film that. So yeah, I'm gonna try to film that video for you guys. And yeah, so hopefully the mini book of book freak out tag should be up by Friday. Hopefully earlier because usually Wednesdays are my film days or like upload days. And then I if I have any if I'm just so happen to schedule something really quickly, not quickly, but schedule ahead of time, then I'll be able to do extra videos on Fridays. Usually I try to do make it sure it's steady Wednesday, like it's a TV show Wednesday at 6 30. But I've been trying to kind of try different times since we've been in quarantine, so it's kind of been working. Also, thank you for all of the people who have been subscribed to me. I mean, like new people who have come to my channel and found me over the last like month. Wow. Thank you so much. Like seriously. Um a little shook because I have not seen, I've been coasting, legit coasting. I just got like to, I got finally past 800 something, like 800 subscribers. And I was like, like 756 or 58 or something like that. Finally. And I'm like, I like it. I like it a lot, but also the timing could be better. But I appreciate it though. I appreciate the love so much. Seriously. Um, so I'm trying to get all this, pump this new content for y'all out. And um, yeah, so I'm gonna end it here. I'm going to maybe put some liner on. Ooh. And um, finish filming this video, and you guys, it's kind of gonna be like Inception. <laughs> um, yeah, so I'll see you guys in the next clip. Ciao. I'm watching the live show um, tonight. It is the 20. Wow, I'm watching over there. The 23rd. And I'm cracking up. Love. Let me turn this down, actually. Okay, yeah, so I got some packages today <laughs> as I've been literally getting packages all this entire month from almost every clip, <laughs> almost, but I got Worlds of You by Bo Tablin. Now this book I've been um, dropping passages on, like dropping my favorite passages on my personal Instagram, but I had to get the the actual copy in my hands because I borrowed it from um, my library and I can't highlight I almost literally want to highlight almost everything and I can't bookmark them enough because it just the formatting is weird but I was like I need this in my life so I'm gonna get buy all of his books because hello relatable I literally felt like I someone had opened my brain and was like this is what you're trying to say I'm like why do I feel so seen like literally on the back even this one it says home is not where you are from it is where you belong some of us travel the world the whole world to find it others find it in a person like love his love his work then i got my bookshelf tea package woo -woo. um so lauren from bookshelf tea i ordered all this all the stickers all the things in the world all the things in the world so I got, this is a bookmark that is actually her, like her, all her info. So I'll let you guys look at that. And then I got my stickers. So it says stay home and read, when in doubt go to the library, um, Fitzwilliam Darcy and Gilbert Blythe, which I love to my favorite boys. Um, then I also got my shirt, which, oh my God, it feels like a blanket. It feels so good. Oh my goodness. So I got went and down, go to the library. Because one of the shirts that I wanted, they were sold out. So I'm just gonna, that just gives me an excuse to buy another shirt. Um, and I love this. It's in this coral, dusty pink color, which is practically my whole aesthetic. So I also got me um, a, I got an order from Pop Flex, which is Cassie Ho from Blogilati. Um, and so I got me a really, really cute workout top because I really need some. I'm in desperate need. Like I have more pants and actual shirts, which is kind of ridiculous. But I don't know. It's weird. And I also got me some um, hair products for my hair because yeah. I'm also I also got this Black Dimension Castor Oil because I'm trying to like make my hair longer because I'm just so proud of my hair for the point that it's come down so i use a lot of body 
um moisturize me curl and style milk wow i feel like i'm a hair channel okay but yeah this is the stuff that i use that is perfect i just throw some leave-in conditioner do a washout throw some leave-in conditioner make sure my hair is super wet and then twist my hair like this but we're not gonna talk about this because i have to retwist it with this because i waited and slept on my hair for two days which is the max i can do without having it look crazy tomorrow um and twist my hair up so yay and then i'm gonna do some um a head massage with that black jamaican castor oil and then badoom finished i need to finish making a screenshot for finally finished editing the video um at work now i have to just finish making the screenshot for it but that should be easy during the live show and um yeah i'm finished reading also i'm currently reading this actually <laughs> which sidetracked me for my goal this month but hey i'm also still i'm in like 25 percent in um my eyes are up here by lauren zimmerman i'm also i think i'm gonna start another arc because that's going a little bit slow for me and i need to kind of speed it up with my arcs because it's practically the end of the month like and i didn't really finish an arc so this is more so of a almost a monthly vlog of just random stuff we updated oh yeah here's the card for um cassie ho's new not new but her fitness line which is where pop flex and i really want this jacket for the fall time because excited um and i love her fitness stuff and i've been wanting to support her for a while because i love all of her workouts i literally die every time i finish a workout from her so clearly it's works um so i'll update you guys later my hair is like being so weird but anyway so i got some packages today i just unwrapped my um new gel memory foam mattress if y'all knew how long i needed to get a mat to replace a mattress honey it would be a shame it would be a hot shame this is my new mattress Ooh, so we have to wait 72 hours so today is wednesday i'm not gonna be able to actually it's not gonna be until it's full size until like saturday so it's like give it 24 to 72 hours i'm just like ah, oh, but my but the softness of this bed y'all this thing is oh my god it's it feels so good and i also bought a mattress cover because i want to get dirty that's expensive what came in the mail for me today i honestly don't know what it is but we're about to open it so we best to see i ordered this book this poetry book called um by bo taplin oh my god that man wrote to my soul like oh hey i don't know what i'm doing apparently but i'm not good at opening boxes <gasps> it's my book that i told y'all about that came from brazil <laughs> i was wondering i was like what is this i was like who was import who oh i got my favorite book in portuguese my teacher's gonna be so proud of me oh it's it's rap rap it's like saran rap is um a more for do are and y'all know how much i spent for this book it's a crime shame i've never spent this much money in a book um unless it's a special edition but even my special edition was cheaper than this so yeah but this is in portuguese it was imported all the way from brazil um so this is a i cannot believe it. actually this is one of my first books in portuguese i'm so excited about this <laughs> i'm so excited so this is the brazil cover the portuguese cover i'm sorry and this is the english cover so you can see the difference also the size difference looks wow that's wrong love um the size difference is astronomical like it's just um also the covers are different there are different little things well no it's kind of similar t-shirt the parachute the ampersand oh no <laughs> but anyway so yeah this is my book this is amor for do R, which is flat out love by jessica park and i'm so excited i'm so excited so i'm a, this will be this book will be going through so slowly because I want to eventually this is going to take me forever today to read because i haven't read this book in like some years since maybe 2015 2016 i need to read it again and again and then go along with this um, i'm going to try to read this just without referencing english and just to underline like write down the words that i don't know which is more helpful than trying to like do it side by side yes it's kind of but also the pages this these pages are bigger it's huge mattress cover that i'm going to wash the thing is with wafer i have literally ordered i've been waiting on my chair for like this is week two and it was supposed to be it was supposed to be here on the eighth which today is almost it's almost the end of the month 
Um, so this is what this looks like. It's mattress, just a little basic mattress protector. Um, yeah, I gotta get a mattress topper from Walmart. It's a gel. I want to get a gel one. It's real nice. Ooh, this is holy. This is nice. Oh, that's nice. Yeah. So as my dad was saying, the thing that you spend your you spend quality money on is shoes and a mattress. Um. Also, I finished. Oh, this is better lighting. I could have just showed y'all over here. Wow. Anywho. So yeah. Um. I was able to edit like 75. Do a scrub through of 75 percent of my video. For that's supposed to go up today, but it's most likely not gonna go up today. I'm hoping to finish it. But I think it'll go up Friday. Um. If not today, tomorrow. But I'm not promising anything. Those things. I got my mattress. I'm so excited. I'm so excited about this mattress. I don't think you guys understand. I have. I feel like I'm getting old and I'm back is it's not mm -mm. my body needs to be curved to a memory foam mattress so I got it I'm so excited <laughs> and it's eight inches which I mean I don't know really what that really matters but whatever so I'm so excited about my book in Portuguese I'm really just excited I'm just so excited so did as I told you guys I mentioned like just a few minutes ago that I edited um the first half well the whole thing but I need to I was scrubbing through back again for because I did an audio I always make sure I have put them I have bought recently bought a mic if you guys have noticed the audio change in my videos then I have actually recently bought a mic I'm very proud finally uh, so excited um so um i had to sync up that and i don't know if there's a quicker way to sync up in premiere pro so i've had to like after the first run through and like put all the added um little pop-ups and stuff through my video first i did that and then now i'm going to the audio to make sure it's lined up everything because i cut a lot toward the beginning of the video so then it wouldn't be like so weird and also I took out like all the ums and pregnant pauses and like me trying to get my thoughts together because that's on every video um and yeah so I did that and so now I'm just trying to get the last remainder like last 10 minutes 15 minutes of the video because the video is like 22 minutes long I think uh, this is about almost 20 minutes so I've tried to reduce it because originally it was like 30 so I think that's pretty good um so I'm excited and I also was able to write a scene from my manuscript yeah it's actually about the secondary characters because I was I discovered a song like maybe um maybe two or three weeks ago and it hasn't I've been obsessively playing this song because the scene the song is literally perfect for my characters but they're secondary characters they're best friends and brother of are my main characters so the scene was perfect i just needed to write this scene out and i was able to type like maybe write 200 300 words today at work productive day we had today i'm currently still reading my eyes are up here by laura zimmerman which just came out yesterday which today is the 24th came out on the 23rd also take a hint danny brown came out yesterday and i'm forgetting another book oh my gosh i just saw it on instagram today but i'm so excited about about those releases so excited so i'm going to drink some water because i feel like i'm a little dehydrated we'll we'll drink my little my 64 ounces today um and do a stretch routine because i'm trying to get back into my my dancing um routine like that i had but because I paused it, it was like on and off during college. And then those two years kind of jacked me up. So I was like on and off, on and off. And then I stopped. And then I'm on. And so it was like crazy. So I'm trying to get back into my stretch routine and dance routine. Doing two or three times a week. Work out. That's, that's about it for an update. This is vlog, June vlog is going to be a long ride for y'all. I'm sorry. I hope you guys enjoy this. You guys want me to do monthly vlogs? Because I like those. I like how this is kind of like I don't have to feel like so pressured to do like a weekly vlog but like I do like weekly vlogs so I really love I love watching people's weekly vlogs like um also the candle that I'm burning this week and it is from Paige Turning Candle Company she's actually a booktuber which I will link her down below and I am obsessed with her candles um this yellow cake one smells like a bakery it smells like a cupcake bakery and cupcakes exploded everywhere and it smells like buttercream and all the sweet goodness in a candle and i'm really mad because i should have bought 
three of these because I bought two of the Black Girl Magic and those are already burnt out. I've already burnt those out. Those are four ounces. So Smart Me should have bought an eight ounce candle. But right now they're sold out. So I gotta wait. Um, so I'm trying to burn this real slow because it smells amazing and smells my room. It smells the entire, it's beautiful. It's the most beautiful and wonderful warm smell ever. Anywho, those are my updates and I will see you guys in when I update you guys and read something. <laughs> so, hi there, hi. I just got from the dentist appointment, a dentist appointment and I, my, I can't feel the right side of my face. So, got a feeling. So, I can't eat until like, it's like 2.45. And I can't eat till like at least four o'clock until I at least can get this and so I can get the filling back in my tongue, my side, right side of my face. But meanwhile, I got a package while I was here, and it is the Hello Lovely, um, the whoa, the um, Candy Steiner pre-order like special edition. So this is my first time ordering from them. I'm super excited because I don't know what's gonna be in it, so I'm real excited about this. And it's so cute. It's a little. Um, a little sticker that says be kind and it's so cute. Okay, so it's a cute little note that's it's off screen. I'm gonna read it, it's printed. I'm excited. My um, um, infos is in here, and then we got the pretty paper. Ooh. Um, so for those who okay, let me let me before I open this. For those who have bought the Hello Lovely, your package has not come yet, and this is more of like, and um, this is this section is more of an unboxing. So if you don't want to be spoiled, I'm going to put the this is the the ending. You can skip here to the next section of the vlog if you don't want to get be skipped. But if you do, you just want to be just interested just to see what I got. I mean, hey, power to ya! Because I almost, I think I almost, I think I got spoiled. I think I saw something that might have spoiled me for the box and what the book looks like because I got the special Candy Steiner edition of A Love Letter to Whiskey. You guys know how much I rave and I talk about that book. Like, I literally push that book down people's throat. <laughs> um, ooh, it's so cute. Okay, so first I see a bookmark that says, You are lovely. And then I see, oh, a bunch of stuff. Okay. Um, a surprise is 20% off my first month. Hey, like saving the coin. Ooh, candy center things. Okay, so I see the Palm South University bookmark. Um, I, I think Jessica from Peace Love Books and Lacey are doing a readathon. Ooh, another bookmark. Don't forget to smile. I love bookmarks. This is like, oh, wow, you get like free. Are these downloads, yo? What the world? Okay, so apparently these are digital downloads. Um, of the book. So the first one, oh. <laughs> hello, fire. Hello, a close. Yeah. Um. So this is in the rough, the Diamond Girls, um, by K. A. Lynn. So this apparently is a free download, and you just I get two free books. Snap. Um. This is a sexy, edgy, forbidden romance from U.S. Today bestseller author K. A. Lynn. Trent has no intention of dating. She is way too busy, and really no guy has held her interest. Then she literally runs into Preston Whitehall. She promptly throws all of her carefully constructed reasons for not dating out the window. He's cunning, charming, and hot as sin. He knows exactly how to use those qualities to get what he wants. She's perfectly okay with that, since what he wants is her. Or is it? Dun, dun, dun. We'll see. And then, oh, Layla Hagen. I've downloaded like a couple of her books <laughs> for free from Kindle. And this is the book, Your Forever Love, The Bennett Family. Hold up. I think I downloaded a couple of books from that series um so this one is um i know what people say about me eric callahan the shark i own it i'm a powerful man my shark business sense earned me that nickname my facade is my armor underneath is where i keep the wow that's a fly the devotion i have for my daughter since her mother died i've devoted my life to her expanding my business on the west coast is one way to ensure i build the legacy she deserves and that's all i plan to do our three months in san francisco until i meet pippa bennett I swear, I didn't mean to start flirting with her. It was a complete accident, so it was continuing. I can't resist the pull between us any more than I can change the ties in the bay. We have the same sense of humor, we have chemistry for days, and she's as kind and sweet as my daughter as my family is. This is fast, spiraling out of control. She's a divorcee, I'm a widower. Widower. Ugh, I can't pronounce my word now because my mouth. <laughs> Neither of us, um, of us was prepared. 
I neither of us was prepared to take a chance on love again. Besides, we always had a time limit. But as it grows closer, I can't help get, but wonder, can I let her go or could this be one forever? Oh, that's so cute. That's gonna be the really cute. Okay, so I got two new books. Um, and then, oh, I got a mini candle. Y'all know how much I love candles. So this is the Bibliophile, the adorable size candle. Okay, I'm gonna give a taste, I mean a smell test later. So I'm gonna, and I also bought, ooh, whoa, oh, oh. There is lots of things in here. Okay, this is a cute little. Okay, hold up. Cause I ordered something else, but okay. Um, this is a cute little makeup bag, maybe. It says whiskey, sunshine, beach days, angsty books, and long nights. Yo, hello. <laughs> hey, whiskey. Hello, a love letter to whiskey. I see where we're going with this. I see it. Um, then I ordered a. Uh, oh, I see the book. I see the book. I see the book. Um, I ordered the emergency case in case of emergency. It's so cute. It has little I like that. This is adorable. My goodness, this is adorable. It has all the cute stuff in here. It has a little toothpaste. It has lip balm. It has that emergency. I have to keep this in my car too. Um, it also has oh, it has a toothbrush. It has a deodorant wipe. Two of them. Oh, a face wipe. Oh, cool. A uh, band aid. And Advil. Hey, this is perfect for my car. I'm gonna just put this in my car. Um, this is perfect. The um kicker of oh my god, it's beautiful. Oh god. Oh my god, the book is so pretty. I have like stuff all on my floor. Whatever. So the beautiful cover, the special edition of Candy Signer, a love letter to whiskey looks like this. Oh my god, you guys look let me take it off the plastic. But like this, gorgeous. But then we also have the special edition. It's, ooh, it's like simple. But I also love the colors. It's gorgeous, y'all. It's gorgeous. Oh my god. <sighs> I actually just recently bought this this month, but it's fine. I literally only got the lovely box because of candy signer. So yeah. I'm so excited. I'm a, I don't know if I want to read this copy or this copy, but I'm going to have two copies because they're gorgeous. Um, so yeah, those are all my little pretty things that I got in this Hello Lovely box, my first box. And I'm going to take a picture of this and um, edit. And I also actually changed editors like yesterday while well, I found out that I could actually get... Now I'm going to link it down below because I don't know if it's actually still available, but I thought I was late that I couldn't get a chance to get it. But for those who need like a new editor, which is like Final Cut Pro for those like Apple users, Final Cut Pro is actually giving out a free trial for like 90 days. No, I'm not sponsored with them. No. But like I just found out that a free trial for 90 days, that is unreal to me, unheard of, but I'm like... Well, I'll make it, milk it to the 90 days. So, I, cause I've been lately having problems with my my video editor with Premiere Pro because it's Premiere Pro, and I've been wanting to try out um, Final Cut um, for a while. And so I was like, hold up, 90 days. I was watching someone's video on like how to the tutorial on tutorial for Final Cut Pro, and so they had like it linked a 90 days try, and I was like, are you serious? Shook. So I of course jumped on it, and so I'm trying to edit the video that I've had. I was supposed to have been up but because I've been having problems with my beautiful Premiere Pro now I have Final Cut Pro um, Final Cut and so I'm gonna be using it so yay but these are the cutie little things that I got I got two makeup bags fam I'm excited in this whiskey <laughs> this is a lot of stuff that comes in this lovely box y'all so cool um I will link hello lovely box down below no I'm not sponsored by them this is my I bought this with my own coin but um yeah okay cool I'll see y'all in the next clip. Hey guys, it's me. And I'm just going to be wrapping up the vlog here. It is actually July the 2nd, the day before Hamilton comes out. And I am clearly not going to be doing anything but watching Hamilton with a few of my friends tomorrow. So I wanted to update you guys here. It's a little late. But I did actually be able to finish three books on the last day of June. I finished two volumes of Dreaming Sun, which was volume five and six and then okay i finished the novella called can't escape love by Alyssa cole and i love that book one disability rep two interracial relationships that she writes so beautifully and just flawlessly hello Alyssa cole um also it was just full of nerdiness nerdy quotes i i loved it it 
I love their like their chemistry it was so cool also the main character um she decides she wants to originally watching this guy take creating putting together puzzles um and then his video just stopped and he took them down and so she's like I need your voice because I have insomnia so I need to hear your voice um because it lulls me to sleep and it was so weird because I was like I re during quarantine I recently started listening to ASMR which was the weirdest thing because I never was ever into ASMR but like it's really slick soothing it's really it's really soothing I'm like well then okay um wow mirroring my life weird um yes yeah, so i finished reading that and i have one book on my hoopla that i need to read and it is or listen to it's the Taurus attraction by sarah morgan thyler i'm gonna probably read that eventually i was able to finish three books on the date june 30th i think it was another book too i forgot but yeah i really really enjoyed those books so this is the end of the vlog my june arc vlog i know the video is going to be really long i hope you guys actually watch all the way through i swear it's entertaining it was not supposed to be this long i'm already like right now i'm currently editing it the first couple of parts like the videos are already like 35 40 minutes and i'm not even like through the entire month of june so yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this vlog and you guys comment down below what you guys read during the month of um the month of june and what arcs you guys are looking forward to um reading for the next like the next couple of months um yeah and i'll see you guys in my next video ciao